hi it's Kate from Grow Your Own Joy and it's been about a week since I filmed this video but I forgot to film an intro and it just started pouring outside um it just started pouring outside but I'm still gonna film this since I filmed this video maybe a little more but I realized I never filmed an intro it just started raining outside um, but I'm still going to go ahead and film this intro so if you can hear the rain in the background um, it's actually a really great thing because we have not had a lot of rain if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that we've been in a little bit of a drought so this is great um, in this video I'm going to be making some squash pickles from some squash that we picked from our garden and at the end, I'll give them a taste test. Thank you for joining me. I'm pretty behind on my Every Bit Counts challenge, but right now I'm going to um, start the process of making some squash pickles. So I have some squash from the garden. I need about three pounds. I have an onion and some other um, ingredients that I need for this recipe. I'm not gonna share the whole recipe. It's in this ball canning and preserving book and it's the squash pickle medley and I am pretty new to canning but I will show you um, some of what it looks like along the way and then what the jars look like when it's all done so the only bowl that I had that was big enough for the three pounds of zucchini was this gigantic bowl that I got it at a yard sale and I'm so happy I had it because I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Um, so the zucchini is brining with the onion. It's been there about three hours and now I'm going to drain the brine and start the pickling process. Here are my hot jars ready for the pickles and my squash that I had covered in salt and a layer of ice to draw the extra moisture out of. Now I'm putting my squash and onions into the jars and then I'm going to top it with the brine. This brine is nice and hot. It's a mixture of vinegar, sugar, and some spices. And I'm just filling it up to leave the necessary amount of headspace. Here's where I had a little bit of trouble debubbling it. The squash kept wanting to float to the top as I tried to get the bubbles out. Um, I lost a little bit of footage where I put it into the canner, but here is the squash after I took it out of the canner. I ended up getting four half pints, two full pints, and then one jar of the leftover pickling liquid that I can use for another project. All of the jars sealed, and I haven't tried it yet, but it looks delicious. I'll update you on how it tastes when I try it in a few weeks. They smell good. They're a little salty, but they're pretty good. Hmm, just like a pickle. It's a week or so since I have made those pickles and I just tried them. They're a little bit salty, but they're still really good. They're pretty crunchy and I thought they were gonna be mushy, so I was really surprised. Um, the color is beautiful and I love that I can see that, um, striped zucchini that was in there. So I think this is definitely something that I would use, um, uh, maybe not just for straight eating, but they would be great accompanying a meal or on top of something. So I definitely think I'd try this recipe again. Um, I think they're a little bit saltier than I would want, but I did follow the recipe exactly and I'm pretty new to canning. Um, so I want to be really careful about following the recipe correctly. Um, but I think this is something I would make again. Um, they're pretty good. Thank you for joining me. That's all that I have for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.